Well, that was it. Hulk Hogan's birthday didn't seem like as big of a, a deal as it once did. Uh, but I think the inevitable did happen that everybody saw coming. Uh, once all the uh, the guests were invited down to the video, uh, down to the ring, they played a special, uh, uh, was that Bob Dylan song with a uh, uh, Hulk Hogan, uh, This Is Your Lifestyle video showing all the greatest moments of him slamming Andre and all sorts of things. And um, we got the guests, uh, the guest list, we've got Roddy Piper, we've got Mr. Paul Orndorff, we've got Jimmy Hart, we've got the NWO, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, Ric Flair was in the house, uh, lots of big names from the past. Um, once they all got down there, we got to see Scott Hall uh, in the ring, ask everybody to take a survey. Kevin Nash led everyone in the singing of Happy Birthday not quite sure what everybody else was doing there. Uh, no fucks were given for uh, Paul Orndorff, not whatsoever. Um, basically, uh, I think this is one of the first times that he, that he, that he, they're, they're, I, they're not doing backstage pass, but they're showing the, uh, the after party. And here comes a cake with Titus O'Neil and Heath Slater coming down to the ring for the Hulkster. Um, I, I thought that maybe they would just record this. I know that after Raw, they're doing a special in-look at uh, John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. Much like a special UFC, um, you know, special hyping up the big fight. I, I think everybody's hyped up, but it wouldn't hurt to give it us a little more. Um, honestly, it was cool to see the NWO in the ring once again. Anytime you get to hear the NWO music, I know that Kevin Nash used it in 2011 when he made his return with the, the whole CM Punk thing. We got Titus O'Neil and Heath Slater about to hit each other in the face with a cake. Trying to make it his... Oh, nope, Titus just took it in the face. All over him. He's got the red and yellow frosting on him. He's about to whoop up on Heath Slater. But Hogan, I, I think the, the, the big deal about it was he took off the uh, the uh, Hulk rule shirt uh, to reveal the NWO tank top. But um, Brock Lesnar comes and interrupts the party, and he didn't come down there uh, to basically to, to put on a... Uh, um, you know, put on a party hat. He he got up in Hogan's face and told him, party's over, Grandpa. And it looked like he was going to take out everybody in the whole group. The only guy that looked like he was beefing up in there, besides for Hogan, was Mr. Por Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. He thought he was still going to be able to take a fight to Brock Lesnar. Um, it almost looked like Flair. It almost looked like Roddy Piper uh, were scared. Here's another cake coming into the ring and a table set up. This one's pretty freaking big. Love to see an awesome moment of uh, Triple H or Vince McMahon come down to the ring for this one. I know when they've done things like for Ric Flair, uh, they had a big old thing for his retirement, and then once the show went off the air, uh, we got Undertaker and uh, uh, and Vince coming down to the ring to greet Flair in the ring. Uh, and it's a nine ninety nine happy birthday uh, cake for Hulk. But uh, this was fun. This was really cool. Uh, Super Cena came running down to save the day. I guess he is really going to wear that red shirt. I was thinking that was going to be a kid's exclusive. He, he looks really weird in those khaki pants. The, the thing that sticks out the most to me are those red knee pads. Uh, I don't... And they're singing again. But um, Cena versus Brock is going to be huge. I mean, that was the one main thing of this whole deal. Awesome to get the Hulkster on our birthday, August 11th, 1981 for me, whatever... I think he's 61. He doesn't look 61, and it doesn't feel like he's 61. He's still my age in my mind, Hulk. Let's go out there. WrestleMania 31, Hogan versus Cena. Let's get it done. Peace out, everybody. See you guys at SummerSlam.